Good morning all. In today's session, we talk about the priority queue. So as of now, you have the basic data structure idea about that queue. So queue means that is we can insert element from one end and we can pull the element from another end. That data structure we are known as a queue. Queue means first, uh, first in, first out. Means whichever element is added at the first that came out as a first means first in, first out, and last in, last out. Okay, that's the P4 and Lilo. This kind of a queue is a data structure. So based upon a priority element get sorted in this queue and based upon a priority that get a uh, element get pop out from from this queue. So that's why it's known as a priority queue. In today's session we talk about the what is mean by priority queue, how internals of a priority queue, example of a priority queue. Okay. Uh, in in that then in addition to that we will check about the frequently asked question on a queue and interview questions on a queue. Okay. This is the content of a today's session. Okay. What is the priority queue? We just discuss about the the data structure. Q it's a remain same only only difference is that based upon a priority the element came as a out okay first who have a priority as a first that element came <coughs> out when we call to the as a pop from this okay we will when we page the element out of that queue so whoever highest priority that element get pop out okay uh, that's the basic okay so in uh, based upon a priority we are pulling so null parameter are not supported because null it's don't have the priority and we require the priority for that apart from that uh, the each element should have at least any priority. So if you are element, if you are implementing a priority queue with the student object, so for that student you should define a comparable interface so that we based upon the sort method you can decide the priority of that. So okay, you are getting getting that means suppose in your queue there are there are five five students. First one is roll number is a one two three five and ten. Okay, these are the five student which are in in your queue. And uh, the match mark or total percentage, if you consider this is a 60, 90, 80, uh, 95, and this have a 50. So all the element you are inserting a queue first, but your requirement is that based upon the, uh, the ranking for top 10 people or top three people, you are assigning some prizes. So in, in case student required some comparable because based upon that priority, first who will came out that will decide it. Like in, in if you push this data into priority queue, and if you make a priority based upon a percentage, then this 95 become a first priority, 90 is a second priority, then 80 is a third priority, 60 is a fourth, and this is a five. So when you pull the push all the data into priority queue, and when we call first term get get the first element that, that this 95 came out of from your from your queue because it's based upon a priority. Okay. Uh, in next thing, uh, priority uh, queue are unbounded means both don't have any bound. A priority queue is not a thread safe. That's why uh, Java supported or Java created another collection, which is a, called as a priority blocking queue. Uh, in Apic, uh, if you stay tuned for for this data structure, we are preparing a different video on priority blocking queue, and uh, uh, on that video we'll discuss more about that. And priority blocking queue using that we solve producer consumer problem, which is a most frequently asked interview question. So please stay tuned for this video. You will get more details producer consumer and priority blocking queue. Apart from that, uh, from the queue, you can pull the element, pick the element or remove element and the get the element from, from the queue. So you can use the poll element to just check which is the element at, at, a, at a top. Pick also to get the first element, remove, remove the element from the, uh, from the, from the queue. That are the things. Apart from that, on, in this priority queue, we can add the element or we can pull the element based upon a login because uh, in, in internal it's based upon a tree a tree kind of data structure so you can easy to get the first element and the pull the element out of that so we'll check in the details with the with the diagram okay uh, let's move on the class uh, hierarchy so every collection is iteratable so first start with the iteratable then it's implement a collection collection implement by queue queue have this implementation with the priority queue because there are two queues in a java one is a dq another is a uh, priority queue so are currently we are seeing this priority queue and uh, in a priority queue there is a further implementation which is a priority blocking queue for threads of purpose okay so uh, this is the same diagram which we discussed like earlier suppose in your queue uh, in your queue four three and one are element there okay in your queue this one four one three and four three element are there this is your queue consider this is your queue okay and when you are inserting a two element it won't insert at the bottom because it check priority first then third three are element so second where it fit so in between first and third it element get fit so directly in just at the second place and fourth uh, it get added so yeah th this is how the element insertion work every time uh, every insertion we are checking where that element getting fit based upon the uh, priority and then rearrange the other element okay same like example suppose this is this is r r this is one one five you four nine this is a your your queue okay this is your priority queue and now you are entering this uh, five element 
so how it inter work like this is the internal t structure of that so here at the last at the bottom end we are adding as a 5 element then we are comparing it is a greater or a less than of a root okay currently 5 and 46 so 46 is a greater so we'll swap that so for 5 goes at a 46 place and 5 came at here just for your understanding purpose i am drawing 5 9 then 26 okay and then 46 and then 5 okay we are comparing these two 46 and 5 okay 5 is less so 5 will get here so 5 will be here 46 will be here then we are comparing 5 with the 26 okay uh, still 26 is a greater so we are swapping either 5 and here we are swapping as a 26 okay uh, this get removed this get removed then we are comparing 5 with the 9 again 9 become a 5 because it's a lesser and this get here and then we are comparing 5 with the 3 okay 3 is a uh, 3 is not greater 5 is a greater so this is the correct po <coughs> position of 5 okay same way it's happened like as a tree representation you can check that 5 replace with the 46 5 this replace with the 46 then 5 again replace with the 26 like here we are doing 26 here we are again 26 replaced by 9 okay and then it's get a final position like as here okay okay this is this is how how the uh, the insertion happen in a priority queue if you have any questions about this let me know we'll connect and discuss more yeah thanks all for all